Do you wish you could uh, automate your stable fusion and uh, let the machine do all your tasks? Well, you can. So uh, let's check out this uh, next part where I show you how. And by the way, don't try to spell part backwards. It's a trap. I will show you how to set up tasks like these, automate them and let the machine do the rest. So Artventure X has something called the Agent Scheduler. I'm gonna link this in the description below. So just go here, press the little code here, press copy here. And then when you go into your automatic 1111, you can find extensions here. And this is not available in the list here in automatic 1111 yet. However, it is in Vladifusion or SD Next as they're calling it now. So if you're using Vlad, you can just load it from the list. However, we're just gonna install from URLs, take the copy pasted link, put that in there and press install. Now when you install it and reload it, you're gonna see agent scheduler up here and also the NQ button here. So instead of generating, you can push this to send it to Q. Now, if you go into the settings here, you can find agent scheduler down here. As a default, we have disabled queue auto processing. So when you're queuing something or automating, it doesn't start. If you want the generations to start as soon as you queue them, you don't have to uncheck this button. We're going to leave this as is for now. Now let's go back to into our text to image. We're currently using the deliberate model. We're going to load our styles, the default negative and the digital oil painting. These can be found in the description below, free as usual. Let's put in cat in a hat. Let me just weight that up a little bit with control arrow up. And we're using four images. And let's just cue that. Now let's change into penguin a hat. We're queuing that up. And let's change the model here to let's take protogen and let's put in sci-fi penguin in a hat and let's NQ. Now we have put in three cues and if you go into agent scheduler here you can see what you have. We have three prompts, the cat in a hat, the penguin in a hat and a sci-fi penguin in a hat with different checkpoints. We have deliberate on two of them and the protogen here. Now you can change more settings like the sampler steps, the scale and size uh, but for now we're going to be happy with this. Now you can start them one by one here, or you can just press resume here to run all of them. And this is a great way for you to start. Like if you want to render overnight, you can start a process of doing lots of different things. So now you can see it starts processing here. Now we're getting some cats. We got some women as well. This seems to be a penguin. Whenever this is finished, you can find it in task history here. So you can see we have cat in a hat. Now we, this is a woman, obviously. We got our four images here and all the settings. Now you can't see them because of my face, but uh, it's not that important. You have the generation info here, similar as the PNG info. And that way you can run something, for example, overnight or just test a lot of different settings instead of using like the XYZ plot. And here we have our penguin in a hat and our images. And here we have our last one, our supposed to be sci-fi penguin in a hat that didn't really turn into sci-fi, but you have to prompt a little more for that probably. And now the cool part about this is you can actually re these. So if you have something you like, maybe you like this prompt here, the penguin in a hat and all the settings, you can save them. You can bookmark it here to remember it for later. And you can just, okay, I like this one, this. I ran 10 of these overnight. This was the best one. Let's bookmark it so I remember. And then I can just re it and it's going to be right back here in the queue and we are now generating it again. Now, if you don't want these to auto run from the requeue, you're gonna have to press the little pause button here. Now you won't see your generations in the text to image here. So make sure to check that you're in the agent scheduler when you're pressing the NQ button. So everything's gonna be in here. Now, if you've found something that you like, now I have four images of women in the jungle here. So semi-realistic portraits. You can, like we talked about, run it again. We could also send it back into text to image, image to image, in paint or extras. And that's done with the buttons that you can see behind me. So I'm just gonna show you here. So we have text to image here. If we send that, right back we're getting all the settings that we used so this is a great way to save the settings so it even saved the samplers the steps with the height seed everything so it's a super smooth way to just get your settings back and i think this feature is one of the best if not the best feature of this extension
But this is a really cool and effective way to automate your workflow. So I hope you like this little tidbit of information. Check back in for more tips on generative AI and stable fusion. As always, have a good one. See you in the next video.